What is that? Okay, magnetic energy. What is this called? What is this? Hydrogen. Well, you say it's hydrogen because hydrogen has how many electrons? Okay. And how many protons does hydrogen have? One. Okay. So we call this a proton ball because this serves as the nucleus. Okay. And so this is the way that we would construct hydrogen. If this is the nucleus, let me see. let's do it better. Or in essence, take down the coefficient of this table to make this roll. What's that? Okay. Now, how many electrons are these? Two. Okay, which makes this set up, which makes this model what? Helium. Okay, because helium has two electrons and how many protons? If two. you Okay, good. But that means in the proton ball we have to put another proton. Now, but wait a minute, watch this. In the nucleus, which is called it's a proton ball, it's really um, a sphere of probability. And now, inside this nucleus we have two protons, but what if you put a third proton inside the nucleus? It becomes what? Lithium. Say it again? Lithium. Lithium. Okay. But that means, of course, that we have to add, and, well, lithium has how many electrons outside of the nucleus? Three. Okay. So now, but, things are about to change. What if in the nucleus, I put two more? Two? Protons plus three protons makes five. One, two, three, four, five. So if I have five protons on the inside of the nucleus and... You go this and go this? Boron. <laughs> Correct. My love, boron has five, what are these? Electrons. Okay. And five, what are these? Protons. Protons. Okay. But, that is going to do a process called nuclear fission, and I'm going to split this atom, right? And I'm going to send one hydrogen flying off, and I'm going to leave four protons in the nucleus, and I'm going to have four protons outside the nucleus. So four protons in the, nu in the nucleus, and four electrons, pardon me, outside of the shell makes it what? Yes, yeah. Look at it again. You said lithium had three, but this is four. Do you see this fourth one? One, two, three, four. Which atom has four pro electrons outside of the nucleus? Lithium. Ah, good. Say it again. Lithium. Good. Can I have a bite? Can you give that some? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you spilled some? It's okay. Let's see. Let's see. A little nap will do you.
Ah, Romanio, wait a minute. So let's take away our nucleus and let's just concentrate on the electrons. Since we know what an electron is relative to the nucleus of an atom, this setup has one, two, three, four, five, six electrons. Carbon. Ah, carbon. Very good. Very good. Fantastico. All right. Since you don't want any grapes, I'll eat them all myself. Unless you can tell me. Ah, wait a minute. What's this? Hydrogen. What's this? Hydrogen. What's this? This here. Okay, spread them out. What's this? This here. Okay, then I have the fourth one. What's this? Over there. Mm hmm. What's this? Carbon. Count. Okay, which makes it what? Carbon. What element has five electrons? I can flip. Mm -hmm. Okay. The element that has five electrons in its outer shell is? Boron. Okay. So which one has six that is going to... I'm fusing these together. Carbon. Okay, seven electrons. Really? No, remember we made a model. Remember, this has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What are these on the inside? Nitrogen. Ah, very good. And nitrogen, of course, has seven. What are these on the inside? Electrons. No, inside. <laughs> very good. A very good, my dog. Oh, wait a minute. How big can you go? How big can you go? Now, I'm going to add one more that has fusing atoms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What atom has eight electrons? Oxygen. All right. Now, wait a minute. I'm making a bigger and bigger atom. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Which atom has nine, Romanio? Nine electrons. Fluorine. <laughs> Mommy is happy as she can be. Here's the creme de la creme. First of all, how old are you? I'm two and a half years old. Two and a half years old. Okay. And, now. And what's the next element? Yeah. Oh, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> and then I'll tell them what's better. I will actually make this one. Oh, we're celebrating now. I said, oh. Indeed, Unanoctium is the largest one that's on most periodic tables. And Unanoctium is 1, 1... 18. Okay, well, 118. Yes, it's 118. And Mama, that I can make Unanoctium, but I should make Unanoctium. Mm-hmm. Well, no, you will make Unanoctium. It's not a problem. But in this configuration, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten electrons. Neon. Neon. Very good. I've actually run out of grapes. But let's leave the modeling alone and let's try some actual names for the elements. Um, so 11 is an A. Which is, or is it, uh, yeah. Sodium. Oh, 
Very good. Boy, I hope uh, it's so good. What's MG? Ah, fantastic. Give me a kiss. Ah, your mind. Where's your mind? Where is it? Where's your intuition? Put your intuition on my intuition. <laughs> Love you. This is, I can make this and this one. Uh huh. Perfect. Mm hmm. Very good. This one. Yes. Oh. Okay. Time, Mom. Medium.